as the 22nd date draws near when the candidate as the 22nd date draws near when FDC delegates will cast their vote as they elect their next party president, the three contesting candidates have today been engaged in a joint debate as they continue to promise what each will offer to the party. Mugisha Mutu was the first to take up his position ahead of the debate. That's saw the three candidates facing one another for the first time since the campaigns kicked off three months ago. The trio were asked to explain why each consider himself as the best candidate for the party's top job. I believe in uh, human rights. I believe in uh, democracy. I believe in transparency. I believe to see a society that is governed with a zero tolerance policy on corruption. And even within this party, I would like to see a party that is based on values. I know that no human being can give what he or she does not have, nor can a party give what it does not have. So I believe for FDC to be able to govern this country and govern it based on the values I've uh, talked about, we need to build those values within ourselves. This country needs somebody determined to move this country to the next level by building systems to operate, not a matter of words and singing. The party which everybody has hope in now in Uganda is FDC, and it can only take power if it can mobilize from the grassroots critical mass to be able to take power in 2016. You must now look for someone who has the skill and the experience to mobilize the population so that they can take power in 2016. I am the one. If you look at this party, from reform agenda to FDC, the curve of its growth has been going up. In the last election, the curve started going down. That means the people of Uganda are losing hope onto the position. My candidature and the team I work with is to restore that hope. It is our moment, it is our dream for our children, for our wives, for our sisters, for our brothers. You need a candidate that is young in age, 41 years, but very senior, 14 years in the struggle for democracy of this country. The debate also tackled the country's foreign policy. Each country in the world should con contribute to fighting this terrorism, both human equipment and financial. Not for you to sit there and say, we shall provide the money while we in Uganda take our children to die there. I don't agree. We should not be deceived that our interests should go without troops being used. Our sisters, our brothers are tired of war. If the situation that to a certain extent is stable now in Somalia was collapsed, it can cause a lot of problems within the region. The candidates were later asked if they supported dialogue with the government once elected in office, and these were their answers. Nobody should ever be deceived that President Museveni is ready for dialogue. We cannot accept to sit when the regime is the one that will be conducting those uh, uh, discussions. We would have to involve people wider, interest groups wider than us, the opposition parties. The debate was later shifted to the internal operations of the party and how the trio think they can advance FDC from its current situation, especially at financial mobilization and seeking to win the next general election. Even if I give you 100 billion now to FDC, they cannot win an election. Yes, in this current state. Why? The most important thing is to mobilize from the grassroots. As FDC. That's why we're concentrating on building structures from grassroots up. The inclusive debate was organized by NGO Forum ahead of the party's elections slated for Thursday. Julia Senkandua, NTV.